Ashish is back from the meeting. Hello children. I have some news for you. Is the train coming Uncle Yash? Are we going? Well Uncle Yash. What wh when are we leaving this place? This is a question I cannot answer. The time and hour is not known. Huh? But we are asked to be ready to break camp any time of the day or night. The alert starts from tomorrow afternoon. But how will we do that? How will we go to the forest to collect fruit and firewood? Well, we need to do that tomorrow morning. Do not be anxious about anything. Do you remember what I told you about the birds and the flowers? Our God will provide. This state of alertness is a good eye opener for us. Do you know why? No. In life, we are required to be watchful because we don't know the hour or day when our savior will come again. Just as we will be making ourselves ready for the call to break camp, we need to be always ready to answer the father's call. And what is the most important truth to remember? We need to remember that this world is not our permanent home. But does that mean we should stop eating, drinking, working or playing? Not at all. But we should not be attached to the material things in life. We should learn to use things and love people and not the other way around. You're so right my dear friends. Before we sleep tonight, I will tell you a parable which teaches us all these truths that we just spoke about. Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives with his disciples when he told them this parable. He had already spoken to them about his death and resurrection. Now he was telling them that he would come again. They too wanted to know when that would be. Like you, John. About that day, or are no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey, when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for everyone? Who then is the faithful and prudent manager whom his manager will put in charge of his slaves to give them their elements of food at the proper time? Huh? Blessed is that slave whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Truly I tell you, he will put that one in charge of all his possessions. But if that slave says to himself, My master is delayed in coming. And if he begins to beat the other slaves, men and women, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will cut him in pieces and put him with the unfaithful. That slave who knew what his master wanted but did not prepare himself or do what was wanted will receive a severe beating. But one who did not know and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. From everyone to whom much has been given, much will be required. And from one to whom much has been entrusted, even more will be demanded. Therefore, Keep away, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. What happened to my dear children? I think, I think I saw, I saw, saw Je Jesus! M m me too! Praise God! I don't think I need to explain to you. Jesus is the Master and we are the servants. We are all called to know Him, love Him and serve Him. So keep doing and speaking good. <laughs> <laughs>